Richard, fourth today, season's best. Can you talk me through that race? Yeah, I mean, uh, I knew the three guys that finished ahead of me was going to start fast, obviously, because their main distance is 100 metres. Um, and I knew Kenny would be up the front as well. But as I come round the bend, I, I use them to try and kick off them. And I just ran out of track. I mean, they pushed amazing. I pushed well. I didn't slip or anything. Just uh, beat, but they was better than me today. Did the lane draw affect you in any way? If you had a better lane, could you have performed better? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I prefer being on the inside, obviously, because you're in the mix and you can see straight away. But um, if you're on the outside, you just push and then you get guys coming up next to you. So I do prefer the inside, but I don't think I pushed the season's best, so it didn't affect me that much. I mean, the, the, the distance race is what I'm weak at at the moment, not like fitness-wise or speed-wise, just the tactical side of it, um, getting boxed. But Marcel said to me the other day, just keep going, it's experience and that. And uh, I think it's good of someone like him to, to try and help me out. So where do you go from here um, moving forward in terms of improving your performances in for the different disciplines? So well, after here, I'm going to go away and do some marathon training. I'm going to do a couple of marathons this year as well. Um, obviously, I think that will help the end of the uh, endurance in the longer races and that on the track. Um, and I'm going to work on my starts. And lastly, could you sum up the atmosphere for the whole championship from the crowd for yourself? For the whole yeah, it's, it's been incredible. I mean, today there was... Uh, I like 30,000 kids in the stadium and they was all chanting my name and everything. They was awesome. Thank you very much for your time. That's all right.